Pixel 7 Pro phone cases. Let's go. Hey, what is going on YouTube? David here bringing you guys another YouTube video. Today we're talking about Pixel 7 Pro phone cases. I just did the iPhone 14 Pro Max case video. I actually do need to post a follow-up video about that too because one of the cases, they are sold out. They're no longer selling them. It was actually a limited edition case and some people have been asking me about that. Not only that, but also I got a couple more phone cases in that I actually think are really nice and they deserve a mention. So I'm gonna do a part two of iPhone 14 Pro Max cases. There's also gonna be a holidays edition Tesla accessories video coming out soon too. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and that's about it. So let's get right into the video. So this is probably the slimmest and thinnest case that I've found for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now this is made of flexible TPU material. It's got a matte finish, so it does hide fingerprints pretty well. What I like the most about this case is, let me show you really quick, is the fact that this case has raised camera edges on here. So it protects this slab on the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, not many other phone cases do this. It has the perfect cutouts for the camera slab here, cut out perfectly there, and also for the speakers. And the buttons are really clicky. You also have the nice labels on the buttons, and of course, there's no buttons on this side. You get a very slight lip on the bottom and the top of the phone too to protect the screen. Overall, this is the best feeling slimmest case and best value for the money that you can get. This is one of my favorites. I was actually rocking this daily. I still will go back to it occasionally. And again, I'm going to throw a link down in the description for all the cases that I talk about today. If you guys like the content, support the channel by buying your stuff through my Amazon links down below. Definitely one of my favorites. So there it is, wireless charging does work. Next one up, I have the Rinky Fusion. You guys know I normally do not like clear cases. I think they make your phone look cheap. I don't mind if it's matte. And this one is this matte frosted design on the back, at least the bottom portion of the case at least. So this is what the Rinky Fusion matte clear case looks like on the hazel colored Pixel 7 Pro. It really shows off the color. This case is $14.99 on Amazon. Really fingerprint resistant. It doesn't really show smudges. It does have a spot for a lanyard so you can run a lanyard in here. Buttons are very clicky, responsive. And just like the Dimmick silicone case just talked about, this does have the raised edges on the cameras as well to protect that camera housing on this thick slab on the back. This is a great looking case if you want to show off the color of your phone, especially if you like clear cases but you don't want to show the fingerprints or smudges on the phone case like traditional clear cases do. And obviously you're also going to get raised edges on the top and the bottom of the phone case. Next one up, I have the Spigen Liquid Air. There's also one that's in a blue color, but I feel like that one would actually look really, really good on the white Pixel 7 Pro. This is what it looks like on the hazel colored Pixel 7 Pro. Buttons are precise. The buttons feel great. The case feels great. You've got these little grooves here. Cutouts are going to be absolutely spot on and precise. It's also got raised edges for the camera housing. More protective than this stupid thing, but I'm gonna get to that in just a little bit. It's got a raised lip on the bottom and top also to protect the screen of your phone. This is going to protect your screen if you lay your phone face down. I really like the pattern on this case, and overall, I think the black and the gold really pop. Wireless charge is not going to be a problem, and the price on the Spigen Liquid Air is $16.99. I think I actually forgot to do the wireless charge test on this one. There you go. Next up is the Encased Magnetic with MagSafe. This case is on this list for one reason and one reason only, and that's because it's got this MagSafe magnet built into it. No other case is doing that. It really adds to the appeal of the case, arguably the design, but also I think it adds functionality. In case you like MagSafe accessories, you can use your puck to charge your phone wirelessly. Again, I don't really like clear cases because it makes the phone look cheap and dirty and it shows smudges and fingerprints. It's actually pretty well built. It's pretty thin. Now in terms of buttons and designs, the 
volume up and down is here the power button is there all the cutouts are precise you're not getting anything crazy messed up on this case you got some end case branding i like how it's not overly crazy like a big logo here or anything like uag cases sometimes do i think it's a really cool case especially the fact that you can put like a magsafe wallet on here and the magnet's actually pretty strong so you don't have to worry about magsafe wallet falling off or shaking off i'm shaking this thing pretty well and it doesn't come off you actually have to push it off to get it off you're going to be getting a raised lip on the top and the bottom so that you can rest your phone case on the table face down and your phone will be fine also add some grippiness there and wireless charging should not be an issue there you have it it is charging. Not a bad phone case, especially if you like MagSafe. Price on this guy is $17.99. I hate to say this, but this is actually a really disappointing case. I had such high hopes for this phone case when I first got this. Now this is the official one by Google, made for the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, when I first saw this case, I knew I had to get it and I actually waited for this phone case for so long. This case was the reason why this video was delayed for so long because nobody had this case and I had to wait for somewhere, someplace to have this in stock and wait for them to ship it to me. Slightly disappointed, not because of the look or anything. I think it looks perfect. I think it looks great on the Pixel 7 Pro. Everything matches perfectly with the colors as expected because this is a phone case designed by Google. It is made for this phone and for this color. What I hate about this case is that when I first put it on, this little edge in here, it almost looks like it's hollow. It looks like there's something missing. It looks like some of the case is missing. It just doesn't look protective. Yes, you're probably protected on the camera cutouts if you lay this thing down like that. I don't understand why this hollow little hole is there it looks terrible i mean look at that it just i don't it doesn't make any sense to me why they designed it like that i don't understand why they couldn't copy something like spigen and made it just a little bit higher so to cover a little bit more or they couldn't even match this seven dollar phone case from amazon that has even more protection that goes around the whole circle of the cameras even making another separate two cutouts for the other two parts on the camera cutout. It doesn't make any sense why Google designed this phone case to be like that. I honestly thought when I was gonna buy this case, this was gonna be the one that I'm gonna use every single day and I thought it would look great. I'm not wrong, it does look great. Everything matches like I said, but this cutout just makes it look so awkward and I just can't, I don't want to use this. I don't like it. It's a big turnoff for me, especially when you look at it from the sides. I get it, maybe they wanna show off as much of this color as possible. Possible. I still use this phone case occasionally because this is the official one from Google. I just like this green grayish jade sage color. I think it really goes well with this kind of a rose gold copper look. I, I think it looks really elegant. It's still a great looking case and it's got the Google logo on it. I had to get it. In terms of the front screen protection, the case is raised on the edges and the top. So you are able to rest this face down. It definitely feels like quality. It's grippy. It feels almost like leather, but it's not. And it's, it, it feels really good. The quality is there. It's just this design flaw that I really don't like about the case. If this was designed better, this would have been a home run and this would have been the case to get. It's still a great way to show off the beautiful color of the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Wireless charging should not be an issue at all. Next one up I have is the Spigen Rugged Armor. This phone case is also one of my favorite lineups from Spigen. It strikes a balance between protection and also being thin. And that's what I always go for on my phone cases. And what I like about this one is it has this little faux carbon fiber design at the bottom of it. It makes the phone look a little bit more unique and also has the Spigen branding on the side. It has a little bit of a sparkly, almost has like a sandstone feel to it and it looks pretty shiny. It has raised edges on the sides of the camera cutout. Unlike Google, the buttons are very responsive and tactile. It's not slippery, it's not uncomfortable. The cutouts are precise. 
And obviously there's going to be a raised edge on the front and the bottom. Wireless charging is not gonna be a problem. And the price on this guy is only $16.99. So all these cases are pretty budget friendly. Next one up I have is this one by UAG. And UAG is always one of the phone cases that always boast military draw protection. This is part of the Scout series. And this is one of the thinner ones from UAG. I just don't want anything that's super duper thick that make your phone look like a battery bank or something that you can use as a weapon almost if you chuck it at somebody. This one I find strikes a really good balance between looks, protection, while also trying to maintain a slightly slim form factor. Some reinforced corners, so that's always good. This case isn't too expensive either. I find that most cases, when they're not made for iPhone, they tend to be a little bit cheaper. But let me know down in the comments below if you think it's just me. iPhone cases are always the most expensive ones, no matter what brand they're from. But when you get something for like a Samsung or like a Pixel, they tend to be a little bit cheaper. Maybe that's just me though. This case is on there pretty snug. It's pretty hard to get this thing off. I'm not a fan of thick boy cases but this actually looks really nice i like the overall look of the case raised camera protection it doesn't have that awkward spot that the pixel case does which you know it's such a shame this pixel case maybe it's gonna take a while to break in but this thing is pretty hard to click i have to push down pretty hard raised edges on the four corners you're gonna be protected pretty well by this phone case there's actually a gap down at the bottom under there so that's because these edges are propped up a little bit higher this looks actually really nice i like this 3d look of this middle area protruding a little bit from the middle when i first got this case i was actually pretty surprised at how much i liked it i'm normally not a uag or otterbox kind of a guy this phone case did find a good balance something that i'm willing to use and compromise with in terms of my taste for phone cases wireless charging is is going to work there you go a great looking case solid protection i liked it a lot more than i thought i would buttons are just a little bit too hard to press for me but maybe it's just me maybe i need to work out a little bit more a middle ground between slim and protection the uag case is 29.95 on amazon next one up i have the Spigen tough armor this is the thickest case that i have normally i do not buy the tough armor series just because it's just too thick but i wanted to include this in this phone case video because people out there would want some something that's protective for their phone. It has this little kickstand thing built into the phone case. It's definitely gonna make your phone look protected though because this thing is pretty thick. You don't really get to enjoy the form factor of your phone anymore. Buttons are pretty big and clunky, but it's the overall look of what this phone case is going for. It's called the Tough Armor for a reason. Your camera housing is very well protected. It is deep recessed in there, raised edges on the front and the top of the screen. So your phone can rest face down on a table and you can rest assured this is going to protect your phone. This one edged out the UAG because of this little kickstand that I think is pretty nifty. You can use the kickstand, you can prop up your phone. You can also prop it up on this side if you want a different angle. The wireless charging is gonna work. The Spigen Tough Armor also has the same military standard drop protection that the UAG has, although it achieves it in a thicker form factor. So it's the same as the UAG, but the UAG is clearly thinner and slimmer than the Spigen one. Last but not least, I saved my favorite for last. This is actually the same case as the Rinky Fusion earlier, only this is in the smoke black look in the matte finish. It actually did not come with this little MagSafe circle on it. I actually installed this before I did this video. I like this case so much that I actually went out and bought something that makes the phone case MagSafe compatible. It's a clear case, but it's not really a clear case because it's actually smoke black. So it should prevent yellowing a little bit. At least I hope so. It has a matte texture. It's frosted, so you don't show fingerprints that much. I think it complements really well the hazel color of the Pixel 7 Pro. This will probably go really well with the black model as well. It's clear to the point where you can tell and you can subtly see the gold around the sides of the case, but it's also not too cheap looking. It actually looks kind of dark because of that smoky look. I really like the case on the hazel color of the Pixel 7 Pro. It does have great protection on the cameras, so those are gonna be protected. The 
edges are great. The buttons are clicky, light, rinky, branding on the side. The cutouts are precise. There's a raised lip on the top and the bottom of the phone case. It took me about two minutes to do, and even a klutz like me was able to install this pretty perfectly, if I do say so myself. It can actually make any phone case here in MagSafe compatible because this actually glues onto the back of the phone case so you can actually make a non MagSafe compatible phone case. So essentially, any phone case can be the in-case one. I got this in the carbon fiber design. You can probably get it in the white. I think there also is a black. The ring actually comes with a tool to measure the sides and the top and bottom to center your MagSafe ring perfectly in the middle of the phone case so that you can't really mess it up. Now, because of this ring, I can actually throw on my Apple Wallet on my Google Pixel 7 Pro. So you're the only guy out there that's sporting this look. It's a great look. It gives me the option to maybe use my Pixel 7 Pro and have one wallet. It gives me also another option to use my Apple Wallet on my iPhone because I have a lot of credit cards. So it gives me some pretty neat options and combos that I can do. Have some fun with some combinations on your Pixel 7 Pro. You can troll your friends, troll everybody. You got a Google phone now with an Apple wallet on it. It's awesome. And this little ring thing is called the Spigen One Tap Ring Adapter. The price on this thing is $17.99. Let me know down in the description below what you guys think, which phone case is your favorite. If you watch my MagSafe battery pack accessory video, you'll know that this is my one of my favorite accessories for my iPhone. You can even try to do this. Let's see if it works. Boom, it's actually pretty sticky. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually stickier than the iPhone, but you can still get it off. So it's been a few weeks since the original recording of this video and I actually decided to instead of blindly recommend the mouse limitless case, but I actually wait a couple weeks and delay the video so I can actually use the case and give a first impressions and review of the case. And I'm actually so glad that I did. So my thoughts on the mouse limitless case for the Pixel 7 Pro is actually not as positive as I had originally thought. Now hear me out here. The quality of the mouse limitless cases are always top notch. They feel great. They're obviously protective since they go out of their way to make those crazy videos of them throwing phones off the roofs and they do great marketing. The case is certified by Google as well. So then why am I hesitant on recommending the mouse case then? Well, I'm not. I like the mouse case for the protection, the quality, and the looks too. The phone feels great in the case and just looks like quality. However, I do not like the fact that there's a similar gap on the camera housing slab on the back. It's quite similar to Google's official case and that was my biggest gripe with that case as well. Despite that case looking like a match made in heaven with the Hazel Pixel 7 Pro. Other phone case manufacturers don't do this and it seems like mouse just lazily used the overall model of Google's phone case and copied it. Other manufacturers will go the extra mile and make it better like try to protect the camera housing but mouse decided to leave that part unchecked. I'm not saying the quality of the case is bad but it just seems a little lazy on the design. Like I said it feels like mouse just took a prototype of Google's case and said, okay, we're gonna do the exact same molding, but just mouse it up and slap our branding on there. The case is still good and it feels really premium in the hand, just like all mouse cases do. However, at the price point of basically $60, I'd say get the Google one at about $30 or $29. I can't remember how much I paid for it. If you want looks or get the UAG one, if you want protection, UAG one is basically half the price of the mouse. If you want slim, then I would go with the Dimmick or I would go with the Rinky. I actually postponed this video a couple weeks to wait for the phone case to arrive at my house. So this video actually took a lot of time and effort to actually make. And consider getting your cases and accessories from my links down in the description below just to support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Drop a like on the video if you thought it was helpful and consider subscribing to my channel if you guys are new to the channel. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you guys had a great Veterans Day. And also for full disclosure, I paid full price for all these items in my video today. I didn't get any discounts to talk about them. And all of these are just my own opinions. I have so many videos planned, but I have so little time to actually do them and record them. But rest assured, I have some great stuff coming up. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. This is David here signing off. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.